I'm WSA 9 meteorologist Topper Shud. We could see our biggest snowfall in three years across the metro. Now, here's the deal. A little counterintuitive. Notice how the winter storm warnings are more south and east of town and just winter weather advisories up to the north. So the bullseye is really going to be between kind of D.C. and maybe even into middle parts of uh, St. Mary's County. Kind of unusual. I know it's crazy because it's been so warm. Uh, over the past uh, several days, really over the past week or so. So it goes into effect 1 a.m. on Monday through 4 p.m. on Monday. Now, here's, where our, here's what we're up against. These are all the models, and these are crazy numbers now, in the next two days, which essentially is until through tomorrow evening. 11 inches graph, 7 inches NAM, 12 inches GFS, 7 inches GEM, even the European is 10 inches. Now, here's the thing about those models. That's if every flake fell and stuck, okay? I don't think it's taking into account the warm ground, and also the, evap the evaporation and also the melting. So here's what we're thinking for our snowfall for this. One to two inches, Frederick, Martinsburg, Hagerstown. Gaithersburg, Leesburg, Northwest DC, two to four. DC South into La Plata and Charles County, uh, four to six. And then the bullseye is gonna be, yes, Southern Maryland and across into the Delmarva where six plus is gonna fall. And by six plus, we mean six, nine, Again, some models going over 12 inches, uh, but the problem is over here, it's going to take a while to get the cold air in here, so that will cut down on accumulation. Suffice to say, six plus for the Delmarva is a big, big storm. So break it down. Overnight, rain changes to snow, lows above freezing, so that's good. Roads don't get bad until after, say, six or seven o'clock in the morning when temps go below freezing. Heavy at times, Monday morning with snow, especially south and east. One inch north, but you saw those bands six inches south. And then just snow, just expect it to be snowy and cold at the bus stop and plan on a wet and slick uh, commute, slow commute, okay? By afternoon, I guess good news, the uh, snow ends, but we still have slick spots because temps are below freezing. So kind of a slick commute home, although it should be dry. Don't see any snow falling. And then it refreezes again Monday night with temperatures. Look at this, 18 to 26, very cold under clear skies, but a lot of slick spots, black ice. Looks wet, gets frozen. All right, 11 o'clock tonight. Here's the rain to our south, temps in the 40s. Uh, by 4 a.m., it's mainly snow, but the temps are above freezing. So again, that's gonna cut down on accumulation. Those cases where the atmosphere supports snow above us, but it melts when it gets to the ground. Now, if it snows hard enough, it can overcome that melting, but it's got a really thump, and I think it will by morning on Monday. 32 in Andrews, 30 in Gaithersburg, 32 in Leesburg. So temps are already below freezing north and west of town. By 10 o'clock, still some pretty good snows, upper 20s already in Leesburg. You're going to be surprised how fast roads deteriorate Monday morning, even though it was like 63 degrees on Sunday today and like 66 uh, yesterday. Now, by 2 o'clock, we're clearing out. Leftover snow in southern Maryland, yes, but that's it. Temps are below freezing now everywhere, and by 4.30, temps are still below freezing, so it's going to get much colder before it gets warmer, so it's going to just stay slick as we go through the uh, night uh, on um, as we get into Monday night into Tuesday. So here's one model. This is the graph. So this is the model, the numerical output for the map I just showed you. 11 inches in DC. Don't think it's gonna happen, but I just wanna show this to you. 17 inches in Cambridge, okay? There's a lot of moisture here. I just don't think all that's gonna stick because it's been so warm. But I just throw that out because some models are going a little crazy uh, on this. So yellow weather alert, obviously on Monday, heavy snow in the morning. Temps falling, cold on Tuesday, but dry, chilly on Wednesday, but dry, not bad. Thursday, cold again. In fact, another shot of cold air comes here Thursday and Friday. Right now, we're going to keep it dry. Watch another system to our south. Chilly on Saturday, milder Sunday with rain developing, but highs by Sunday around 50.